okay guys we have discussed about one type of pedigree analysis uh, now let us look at another type of pedigree analysis now in this pedigree this is also three generation pedigree pretty short one so this is generation one this is generation two and this is generation three three generation pedigree now in this pedigree we need to tell what kind of inheritance pattern of this particular disease is. now let us lo look back to the rules now one thing i must tell you before explaining it the rules are designed by examining lot of different pedigrees many pedigrees together but again i'm telling you those rules may not be applicable 100 percent all the time so you need to look after once after you get uh, your conclusion get to your conclusion by using these rules you must test your answer how to test the answer i am telling you in this particular uh, discussion okay i'll be telling you now here say these are the three generations in these three generations what we are getting is that this trait or inheritance pattern is coming from a father to daughter. Now there is only one case of transferring the inheritance from father to daughter. And if it is happening that an inheritance is coming from father to daughter, it must be of sex linked inheritance. No autosomal inheritance is coming from father to daughter. That is the empirical rule. That is the true rule all the time. So this rule is true all the time. And this rule, if it uh, comes in each generation, it should be dominant. So these two rules are empirical. So these two rules, if you find the examples like the uh, transfer of the disease gene from father to daughter, then you can tell by closing your eye that is sex linked. And if you find it, that particular disease is coming in each generation at least once, we can tell that yes, that is of dominant type. You can just tell it, not uh, further investing any amount of time. Because these two are the true rules, but other rules are uh, manipulation. So if you get these answers, so you need to check your answer. But now, well, what we get is from father to two daughters. So father to daughter inheritance for the disease. That means it must be of sex link type. It not it is not autosomal. So it is sex link, and this is a true rule. So you don't don't need to check that anymore. And the second thing is that what kind of it is dominant or recessive? The only way of transferring it. From father to uh, daughter is a dominant type. Why? Because you can see in each generation we are finding the people affected. In each generation, first generation this one, uh, this person affected. Second generation these two daughters are affected. Again in three generation, third generation we can see this three boy and one daughter is affected. So what we get in the very first beginning we get is a sex linked. Now what we are getting they are dominant. So the trait is sex linked dominant trait. Right now, once you get this uh, this type of results, you must cross check your result by placing your genetic analysis method. Because in this case, you don't require it because these rules are the true rules. I have already told you these are true rules, so you don't need to cross check it. But most of the time, when you utilize this formula or these formulas, you need to look for that. Right? For example, say here, here what we get so X linked dominant. Right? So this one is the C means diseased. Now this uh, woman is not diseased. Okay. Now here in this next generation, two daughters, one son. So one of it, their daughter is getting this, right? Another daughter is also. So here what we get, one of uh, two of its daughters are infected. That means it must have one other X like that, right? So it must get this one. So it must get this one. It's linked dominant. And here this one. X, Y. This X and this Y. So you get one X, Y. In the future case, one of their daughter is getting it. Uh, son is getting it. So that must be this. Right? So this is X, Y. And this is normal XY. Now here say this is XY normal. So one of their daughter XC XC so it's dominant, sorry. So there should be this. So one of their daughter XCX, CY, XX, XX. Right? So these are their genotypes. So once you get your answers, you must cross check your answer with the genotypic analysis. But if you can't understand the genotypic analysis, we will be doing a separate video for that. But this is the most important part. If you use this formula that father to daughter transmission 
or say from uh, you, you can find in each generation you can tell it not for the investing time that this is a sex link dominant type okay so for the sex linkage determination father to daughter and for the dominant each generation you get only uh, at least one uh, trait uh, is coming so you, these two formulas are true so if you utilizing these two you don't require that but if you don't use this if you use other formulas you must cross check it right so this is an advice to you how to cross check i've already go through it so if it is a x link dominant that means one of the x is if one of the x is infected that the whole, whole uh, thing is will be infected so here x c y with x c uh, x c y with x x right so what we get x c x x c x so these are infected daughters and one of the uh, son is uninfected so only x y now this is crossed with another x y is a normal for people now two of the uh, sons are infected one son is not infected now in the similar way so that's how their linkage is coming okay so that's it and i hope it will help you thank you